This tutorial will show you how to remove the Trovi.com redirect that takes place in browsers after accidentally installing Trovi.com as I did when I was installing software. I clicked uh, yes instead of no uh, along the process or uh, maybe there's some other way that this ends up on your computer. I, I don't know of all the ways. You pretty much know that you've got it and notice it because when you start your browser or when you open a new tab or go to your home page you'll end up going to this blank page in the address bar it says www.trovi.com and down at the bottom here we've kind of got some different links and if you mouse over about.com you will see back in this corner over here that uh, it's info.trovi.com so we want to remove this uh, there is a program that can be uninstalled but first why don't we just run a malware uh, a scan on the computer. Now the program that I like to use to just uh, run a scan on my computer is called Malwarebytes and you maybe have seen this in my other tutorials that I use this. If we go to malwarebytes.org uh, here we can uh, have the option for the, to buy it or to download the free version. Uh, this page can change in look as all pages get redesigned so if you want to make sure you're on the same page just go up to the address bar look for the HTTPS and malwarebytes.org you would go to the free version, download it to your computer, run that, and install the program to your computer. And uh, along the way, they ask if you want to do, if you want to try the full version, free trial, and uh, you know that's an option to consider. But uh, I do just fine with the free version. So I already installed my computer, so I'm not going to download it now and install it. But we'll just proceed to the next step, which is running Malwarebytes. Now you may have some shortcuts on your computer to start the Malwarebytes program, but I'm just going to go to start and I'm going to start to type malware in there and up at the top here in the programs, there I've got Malwarebytes anti-malware. I'm going to run that and once that starts up, oh, it's asked me if I want to update my database, so yes, I'm going to do that very quickly. Just update it, that's great. I'm going to perform a full scan. And I'm going to start now. And in fact, we'll let it start to run. And I will uh, pause the video here and return once it has completed. OK, the scan has completed. Click OK. You see it's found 102 objects. Now, I don't know if these are all from uh, trovi.com but um, maybe none of them are but they're there it's time to remove them I'm going to click show results and we can uh, kind of even just look down some of the names here one is search protect okay it's a program that can show up in your installed programs file as well search protect lots of search protect it's in there lots of places and uh, lots of files refer to it all right so uh, I'm going to click all of these buttons. Unfortunately, there's uh, not found a way yet. Otherwise, then I have to you have to click on every single one. So I'll pause the video while I do that. All right, I've selected them all except these last three. I will select the rest. That's everything. I will go remove selected. We'll let that run. Again, we've got a slider bar down here. Goes along quite quick. And once it's done, we get a report of everything that was removed. If you want to read that later. Now it says I have to restart my system to remove all active threats. I'm not going to do that because I'm recording this. I don't want to have to set up the whole recording again. But you should do that. I'm going to click No. And uh, we'll exit that. So now the next thing that we want to do is go and reset the browsers. But I'm going to first of all check under control panel to uninstall a program. And I'm going to scroll down the list of installed programs to search protect to see if that is still showing up there. Uh, LNOPQRS. So it's gone. It did show before, but um, uh, Malwarebytes has removed it. 
So the next thing I want to do, as I said, is to reset the browser. So let's take a look, first of all, at Chrome here in Chrome. Going to click on the uh, menu at the top there and go to Settings. And here you see under Appearance, show the Home button, and there's what the Home button is, trovi.com. I want to change that to something else. I'm going to um, put in there, I'll make it, just make it Google for now. Um, www.google.com and say OK and that's the new home button and uh, now here you see where it says search search set which search engine is used and searching from the Omni box that's the uh, that's the uh, box it's a drop down of some browsers mine's not open right now so I'm going to go manage well first of all I'll use the drop down and I'll select Google I can even go and click on manage search engines and here's the Trovi one. I'm just going to hit X and turn that off and I've got Bing, uh, French Bing in there and French Yahoo Quebec. Don't know why that's in there. And uh, so I only use Google. And there's a list too of other ones down here that I could remove if I wanted as well. I'm going to just look to see if Trovi is in this list. And it is not. All right, so that's done. Now at this point, if we hit the new tab, we will still get the Trovi window. It might be because I've not rebooted, but I'm just going to close the browser all together in another opening I have in a different screen. And I'm going to open it now. And I still get that Trovi bar there. So that's fine. And if it's still there after I reboot my computer, I'll fire up the video. So that's how to clear Chrome. Let's do Firefox next. Open up a Firefox window right here. It's going to open up off the screen. It goes to Trovi as the home page. So again, we're going to click at the, uh, we could go to the side options now in the latest version of Firefox. Go to options. Let's go to add-ons first of all and see if there's a Trovi add-on in there. No, I don't see one. Or go to extensions. No. So we'll close that. We'll go back to the control panel to options. Under options, we will go to general. And in general, it says when Firefox starts, show my home page. Well, there's Trovi again. So let's just delete that right out. And again, Go to Google, select that, and now hopefully when I start Firefox this time, it's going to go to Google, and that's great. Now you see up here in this search, this quick search, it says Trovi search, so I'm going to right click in there, no, I'm going to click down, and I'm going to select manage search engines, and I'm just going to remove Trovi and that makes Google the only one there and that will come up. Now when I hit a new tab there it still goes to Trovi and so what we're going to do to fix that is in the search or uh, address bar there we're going to type about colon config and hit enter and then here uh, here promise. Click that OK. Now in search we're going to type browser dot new tab. And that will filter and bring up enough options for us to see this one here browser new tab dot URL. You'll see that it's set to Trovi so I'm going to right click and go modify and I'm going to type in www.google.com and say OK and that is cha changed so that's good so now when I hit plus it opens up a Google page. Excellent! That's how to take care of it in Firefox. Now let's do it in Explorer. If you use Internet Explorer go ahead and open it up And this goes to Google as it is already. It doesn't seem to be infected in this case. And the search tab up there is Google. And 
do we have a new tab? I don't really use this one very much. Although, in fact, they're even giving me the chance to make Google my default search engine there, so I'm going to say yes. This could be because I don't really um, use Internet Explorer very much. Uh, so Trovi does not seem to be coming up here. I'm going to click on a new tab, and a blank page is just a blank page on Internet Explorer. So that's great. That's how to change the three major browsers. And I would expect, uh, as soon as I reboot my computer, that it's going to be free of Trovi.com and uh, all the hassle and mess that uh, that it creates uh, from what having things the way that I want. So uh, all things going well when I reboot. I won't be back. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope that it's helpful. Uh, if it is, why not give a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel and uh, sure leave a comment too if you want. And uh, I hope that that helps your computer to run better in the way that you want it to, and that it's helpful. Take care. God bless.